Now, when you think about constant of proportionality, there are two formulas you want to um, associate with this term. Okay, so when you hear constant of proportionality, <clears throat> You think of y equals kx, that's one um, form, or you can think about the formula k equals y over x. Okay, so these are the two formulas you use to calculate the constant of proportionality. This form, this form, let's call this form 2, is good for graphs. If you're given a chart or a graph, you can use this form here. And form number 1 right here is better, is best suited for um, equations, okay? So in this situation here, we have um, equations. So anytime you are calculating constant of proportionality with equations, you want to use the formula y equals kx, okay? So there are two steps that you use. Step number one, so let's write down the steps. Step number one is you solve for y, okay? Get y by itself, and then step two, um, extract the coefficient of x. Whatever number you're multiplying x by, that's the coefficient. That is your constant of proportionality. Also, so for step two, um, co the coefficient, the coefficient of, of um, x is k, the constant of proportionality, all right? So we're going to apply these steps to these four options here to see which gives us a coefficient of four. All right, so let's start with option letter A. So for option letter A, we have 4y equals 4x. How do we find the constant of proportionality here? To accomplish that, we will simply solve for y, get y by itself. How do we get y by itself here? We divide both sides of the equation by 4. Divide by 4 on both sides because you have 4 times y here. And if you want to undo multiplication, you divide. So our answer is going to be y. <clears throat> let's change the color. It's going to be y equals 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 x. So what's the constant of proportionality here? Whatever number you're multiplying by x, that's your constant of proportionality. So for a, k is equal to 1. Is that what we want? The answer is no, because we're looking for the constant of proportionality of 4. So a is not your answer. All right, let's shift to the b part. Okay, so for option b, we have 4y is equal to 12x. Now, how do we find the constant of proportionality for option B? We simply follow the steps. Solve for Y and look for the coefficient of X. How do we solve for Y here? The same procedure as we did in A. We want to get rid of this 4, so we divide both sides of our equation by 4. Okay? So what does that yield? That gives us um, Y equals 12 divided by 4 is 3x. Now, do you know what the constant of proportionality is here? Whatever the coefficient of x is, that is k. What is the coefficient of x? 3. So k, the constant of proportionality is 3. Is that what we're looking for? The answer is no. We're looking for the constant of proportionality of 4. Okay, so we're looking for the one that yields 4. So let's eliminate option B since that is not the correct answer. Now let's go move on to option C. We have 3y equals 4x. Okay, now can you figure out the constant of proportionality? We're going to carry out the same steps that we did in A and B. We're going to solve for y first as indicated in step 1. 
and then extract the coefficient of x. So we divide both sides by 3. Why that? Because that's what um, is in front of y here, and we want to get y by itself. So the 3 is divided out, and we have y equals 4 thirds x. Now, what is the constant of proportionality k in this equation? The constant of proportionality k is 4 thirds. Is that what we want? The answer is no, we need 4. So option C is not the answer. Cut that out. Now, last but not the least, option D, that better work or else we have a problem. So we have 3y equals 12x. Now, how do we find the constant of proportionality? We follow steps 1 and 2. Divide by 3 to get y by itself and find the coefficient of x. Let's go ahead and do that. Divide both sides by 3. And then we have the 3's divide out y equals 12 divided by 3 is 4 for x. So what is the constant of proportionality here? The coefficient of x, what you're multiplying x by, is your k. And what we're multiplying x by here is 4. So k is equal to 4. So your constant of proportionality is 4. And that is exactly what we want. Our answer is option letter D.